What's up everybody, this is TechVids for you, and today I'm going to do my top 5 City of Tweaks. This is for October 2012, and today is October 5th, and these are in no particular order, these are just my favorite in October. So, let's get started with the video, and yeah, let's go. So let's go and start ahead with my first tweak. My, this first tweak is called Custom NC Background. You can enable, apply to lock screen, and fill screen. So right now, if I pick the image, you can go from photo library to camera. Then you can pick any album you want. I'm going to go to my camera roll and press this awesome Apple one that I found on HD wallpapers. And after that, you don't have to respring at all, and it goes straight to that. And just to show you that I can change it without that, let me pick another one, and this, I'm gonna pick the five for the iPhone 5, but this fits. And see right there, it changes without any respring, which is pretty awesome. And you can, uh, if the thing is smaller, the picture is smaller, then you can press fill screen, and it will work perfectly fine. So right now, let's start with my next tweak. This tweak is called Flotation. Basically, it lets you edit how, on how you use your transitions on your notification center. It has darkened screen and behavior. So, let's go over to Transition. And there are two types of transitions. So let me click the bottom one. And after this, you can darken the screen. And as you can see right here, it's enabled. And it looks pretty awesome because it takes down the actual screen behind it and it like bounces. And uh, if you enable the darkened screen and you press fade, then it will just fade it when you slide down your lock screen. But when I fade as I slide, then when you pull down the notification center, then it changes how dark it gets by how far you pull it. So if I don't enable it, it automatically doesn't do anything. But when I enable it, it goes straight to it without respring, which is always a plus with tweaks. So let's go to our next one. The next tweak I'm about to show you guys is called Folder Enhancer. It basically lets you change your appearance and your behavior of your folders. And it actually makes your folders go faster, which is a plus about this tweak. So I could change the text color to any color I want. So I could change it to like blue, purple, green, yellow, and any type of color I want. And right now I'm just going to make it kind of a reddish pink. And now the background color, I'm going to change it so it is like a type of green. So all I have to do is change the alpha and it will make it greener. And it is kind of difficult while you do that, but it's it's all right, I guess. And behavior, it just changes how you use your thing. So uh, if I go right here and I just press home screen and move over, it act automatically changes the color and the text without any respring. And uh, as you can see, it says all green and everything. And let me go back and actually prove to you guys that I'm not even kidding about the rear spring. I'm going to change it to like a bluish. And when I press the home button and I go over to my folders, the text is actually blue. So this is an awesome tweak and I love it a lot. And let me go on to my next tweak. The next tweak I have to show you guys is called Unfold. It basically lets you unfold on your lock screen and make it look really cool. You can also fold vertically and you can change the number of slices it folds. It goes all the way up to 10 and all the way down to 1. So, also you can change the unlock text to anything you want. So right here, I'm just going to backspace and I am going to say subscribe. If you want to do that, just hit the link below or above I mean sorry and as you can see when I walk it and I turn it back on it automatically has a folding right there and it says subscribe without a respring which is awesome so I do that let me walk it again 
and it just goes back and it has a very nice transition to it so um, let me try to do fold vertically and it is a little difficult to use fold vertically if you do not have big hands because you have to move your thumb all the way over there so I'm using my index finger and it's a very nice effect if you want to do that but it does not work in the middle and they they should probably do an update on that I'm um, I want that to happen so yeah that is this tweak and let me go on to my next one And by far, this is my favorite tweak ever, and this one is called Spring to Mice 2. This basically lets you change everything on your iPod, everything you imagine on your iPod, except like certain themes. But you can have so much stuff like capabilities, you can have animations, dock, you can change the dock on cover flow effect, or hide the reflection, and you can change stuff on your lock screen, or do a custom label icons you can make them smaller or bigger and you can hide apps uh, folders you can change folders but you have um, folder enhancer to change that and status bar you can change anything you want which is pretty dang awesome also uh, pages you can hide the dots because I do not like to hide the dots and I did disable spotlight just to show you guys that it actually does work and um, yeah that is uh, basically it for all that stuff so let me change the dock really quick or no let's not change the dock let's go up to lock screen and turn on the display seconds after that all you have to do is go to reload and you press respring and this will automatically respring your device and it will put all this stuff where it's supposed to be as you can see they're actually lock screen um, numbers up there seconds sorry and they work perfectly fine and that is basically it for spring to my 2 and this is basically it for this actual video if you like this video please comment down below and please subscribe it helps me out a lot and please like this video of course it helps me out a lot too and as you can see right here I'm just showing you all the stuff that I went over with um, this video and that is basically it so thank you guys for watching and peace